Alright guys, welcome back to Full Throttle. So what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna trip the alarm at the gas tower again. And we're back up with our group. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Rip Burger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blow my gasket, I surely <laughs> was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love <sighs> Come on, old man, I gotcha Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody I have a plot thickens you Damn. laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. Rip Burger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Dunk, dunk, dunk. until I get there. Mm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is boss. Ah, yes. Now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the memo. Maybe I beat it. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Nope, she gone. 
Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his meat ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. It's smashed up, open, and there's no film inside. I don't need it. for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan, fast. All right, so let's head back the way we came. Say that when I say go lick it. Back at the kickstand where we started. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of <laughs> Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely, and without mercy. <laughs> Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large, roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Uh, I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Smart man. All right, so one of the achievements I missed was to continuously watch the news footage until it repeats. Members of the Polecat gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all-points bulletin. They got the Polecats. Latest reports suggest that the leader of the Polecats may have had an accomplice, a young mechanic. Maureen. The two are being sought by authorities for questioning in connection with the violent death of motorcycle magnet Malcolm Corley. Asked about the eminent shareholders, hey, I got it. Corley Motors Vice President Adrian Ripberger made the following statement. We cannot in good conscience go forward. Shareholders meeting until the perpetrators of this myth's deed have been brought to justice. He's up to something. He wants us dead before the meeting starts. Alright. So this is Emmett. Just cause, why not? Oh yeah, <laughs> that just means you talk to him. I can do that. Not gonna happen. If you keep asking him about it... You can play the five finger fillet mini game. Let me show you how to do that. Not going. Let me show you how to do that. Not going. Let me show you how to do that. Not going. Let me show you how to do that. Not going. Let me show you how to do that. Not going. Let me show you how to do that. Not going. Let me show you how to do that. Not going. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it'll shit. This is the instruction. This is not me doing it. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> 
Yep. Damn. I used to do this in high school all the time with my pens. Damn. Actually, this is probably the best I've ever done it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. This is actually a lot easier in real life than clicking with the mouse, to be honest. <laughs> Although I've never tried it with a knife. Damn. Okay, I'm ready for this to be done now. Damn. <laughs> I'm sure Ben is too. Damn. Damn. Okay, Damn. you can stop now. <laughs> Keep going. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> Who makes that face? That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers. They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. That's fair. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah? Quahog? <laughs> I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, alright? Customer with the knife is always right. That's fair. I just killed a guy. <laughs> no, we didn't. Just about to. That's fair. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. And it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quoho. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. Okay, so, hmm. So you don't have any pictures. Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me. Get my editor. He's got to get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. <laughs> my career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. <laughs> Classic reference. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place, Uncle Pete's Meat Ranch? I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. 
<laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your That's car in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the feds, chump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you would get your man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Jeez, Ben, so dramatic. Nope. I want to look. Nah, he's still gonna go back over there. Can you walk any slower, Ben? The barn's locked. I'm not going back that way. Too many cops. I don't walk. It says the man walking right now. Okay. Oh, that skipped it. Nice. So I gotta look at one of these pictures. Lots of bikes. Lots of bikes. There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Got it's it. Like that was one of the achievements I was missing. Together. It's a trunk with a Corley motor sticker on it. I couldn't break that lock. Why not? Dunk, dunk, dunk. That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? She's a member of a rival bike gang. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, come on, Ben. Live a little. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl, dreaming of her life repairing toasters. <laughs> wow, that was kind of harsh. I'm not putting my lips not on that. My lips on that tough-looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. Not even kicking it. Okay. Hmm. There we go. That was handy. <laughs> oh, he fits that fuel line quick.
She took my booster fuel. Why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. He has the Galactic Empire symbol tattooed. Dead. That sign. That means I'm in cave fish territory. The cave fish were actually designed, intended to be a spoof or satire of the uh, Tusken Raiders from Star Wars. And there goes Emmett and the bridge. This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. And we'll see you back in a couple days.